<sighs> what a beautiful day, isn't it, huh? All right, let me fix the camera. And there we go, now it's not too bright. Anyways, today I wanna to talk about how I used to catch 100 pips a day trading in the Forex market with Divergence. Okay, so let's just get right to the topic. How did I catch 100 pips a day in the Forex market when I first started trading based off of Divergence? Well, I'm about to tell you the entire strategy right here. And let me tell you, some of you are gonna love it, some of you are gonna hate it. Uh, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter because I documented all of this a long time ago on Instagram. All of the people who were following that journey, they saw every single trade I was getting into. They saw the results and they can confirm that, yes, I was catching that many pips per day um, because I was even giving out these trades before and after. And a lot of my followers took the calls and made money from it. So you can go back to my Instagram page, click on one of those highlights that says profits one, two or three. Um, it should be outlined there where I show you everything. Um, the entire like one or two month journey. I was catching, I'm not even joking here. I was catching anywhere between 100 to 400 pips per day trading divergence. And I'm gonna share with you exactly how right now. Okay, so I'm not gonna teach you anything about you know divergence right now because I'm assuming you already know what divergence is if you've been watching my YouTube videos. If you don't know what divergence is, then I recommend going to babypips.com and taking their free course on divergence. Or you can go back to some of my past videos and you can watch the videos about hidden divergences, regular divergences, you know, how I scalp gold. Uh, I teach you things like that in my free YouTube videos. So now that you already know what divergence is, let me explain to you what I was doing when I first started uh, trading. And then I'm gonna tell you why I stopped doing this, even though I was catching so many pips and making lots of money, I'll tell you why I stopped doing it. Okay, so step one, here is how I achieved those results when I first started trading based off of divergence. What I did was I added every single Forex chart to my watch list, except for exotic pairs. So yes, that includes all the major pairs, all the minor pairs, and I even added gold and silver. Step two, I did not use any other time frame except for the one hour time frame. I did not use the 15 minute time frame. I didn't use the 30 minute time frame. I didn't use the daily, the four hour. I only used the one hour time frame and that's it. Step three, you're gonna look for divergences. That's it. So if whatever you're trading, let's say you're trading gold. If gold on the one hour time frame is in an uptrend and if you spot bullish hidden divergence, what I used to do is I used to just get into a buy. I didn't do any technical analysis. I didn't do any top down analysis. I literally just did exactly what that what the divergences showed during a trend. Once again, if I'm in an uptrend for gold and if I spot bullish hidden divergence, I would place a buy. That's it. Now, how do I set my stop loss and my take profit? I, I did one to one risk to reward. I'm not even joking. I would do 50 pips take profit and 50 pips stop loss. And that right there, you can see if I'm doing this for every single Forex pair on my watch list, you can tell I'm getting into about six to seven trades per day. Yeah, six to seven trades on a daily basis. Now do the math. Even though a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio is basically a coin toss, it's 50-50 chance of win or loss. But at the end of the day, with divergence, your chances of success are far higher because once again, divergence helps you confirm either a trend continuation or a trend reversal. So your chances of success trading based off divergence are higher than just a regular coin toss. So let me give you an example of the kind of success I was seeing when I did this. Let's say I placed five trades before going to bed. Out of those five trades, I'd probably have four trades hit take profit overnight and one of them would hit stop loss. Now don't get me wrong, there were days where all trades hit stop loss and there were days where all trades hit take profit. But what I can say is that the majority of the trades every single day that I took, I'd say about 60 to 80% of those trades would always hit take profit and the other ones hit stop loss. So at the end of the day, I would always come out profitable as long as I consistently did this among every single Forex pair and you know gold and silver, I would always come out profitable because of the quantity of trades I'm doing and because divergence is, you know, it's giving you a higher chance of success versus just uh, any other type of trading. Divergence helps you confirm continuations and reversals. So I was using that to my advantage only on the one hour time frame. Okay, so now I know a lot of people are gonna ask me what pairs does this work best on for this one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio and only the one hour strategy, right? Everyone's gonna ask me what pairs did it work best on? It worked best on GBP pairs. So as an example, GBP, AUD, and you know, things like that. You Very volatile pairs are the pairs that it tends to work the best on because do you want to wait an entire week for 50 pips to hit on AUD USD? You know, 50 pips on AUD USD is like this big. 
but 50 pips on GBP AUD is like this small, right? So the best pairs, in my opinion, were basically the GBP pairs. Those were the best pairs. So um, that's when I started to stop trading every single Forex pair and I would only do the GBP pairs. But then you notice that the success rate goes down because you're only trading a few pairs. Because how many GBP pairs are there? You have GBP CHF, GBP AUD, GBP USD, GBP JPY, right? Maybe like one or two other ones. You don't have that many pairs compared to if you're trading every single Forex pair, except for exotics. Anyways, what I'm trying to say here is that the best pairs are the pairs that you personally find that work the best for you. But uh, if you're looking for hitting your take profit fast, then definitely GBP pairs plus gold and silver. Those would be the best pairs for uh, if you want to see it happen really fast. But if you want to have a higher chance of success for the long run, then every single Forex pair, the majors and minors would be best. Again, I'm not telling you what to do. This is not advice. I'm not telling you go ahead and try this out for yourself. I'm just sharing you what my strategy was when I first learned divergence and how I was catching anywhere between 100 to 400 pips per day. It was probably the most insane time of my career because that was when it really showed me the power and uh, the true potential of trading divergences. Now, the question on everyone's mind, if it's so powerful, if I was making a lot of money, catching a lot of pips when I first discovered divergence, why did I stop trading with that method? Why did I stop doing one-to-one -one risk to reward? Why did I stop only using the one hour? You know, why did I stop just trading based off what I see and not even doing technical analysis? You know, even though I was catching 100 to 400 pips per day, why did I stop doing this? Well, here's why. That's because I'm not a robot. I'm a human being and human beings get exhausted. You know how exhausting it is to look at every single Forex pair on the one hour time frame every single day, at least four times a day, just to spot divergences and hidden divergences. Trust me, it is a hassle and it is very time consuming. This is why all the time, by the way, I'm not sponsored. This, this company didn't pay me for it. This is why I purchased that true TL indicator that I talk about in almost all my videos because it is an indicator that you hook up to your chart that automatically plots divergences for you so you don't have to spend time looking for them yourself. This is why I got that indicator. So now, if I, if I ever wanna go back to my old way of trading and catch a lot of pips every day, I can just hook it up to the one hour time frame on every single Forex pair, and I'm gonna get a push notification to my phone through MetaTrader 4 whenever uh, it spots divergence on the one hour time frame. So as an example, right now, as I was recording this video, right now, literally as I'm speaking, I'm getting a, a bunch of notifications saying there's a uh, bullish hidden divergence on this pair, there's bearish divergence on this pair, right? So all I have to do is open it up, check the pair, and if I agree, I place the trade. If I don't agree, I don't trade it, right? Or I can trade against what the indicator is saying. So that's why I initially stopped. It's because I'm a human being. I need to sleep, right? I need to take breaks. And checking every single Forex pair is just exhausting. It's basically a full-time job, um, you know, but as traders, we don't look at it as a job. We look at this as something we're passionate about and we just happen to make money doing it. I don't want to feel like it's my job, right? So I just stopped doing it altogether and I focus more on swing trading. But again, now that I have this indicator that'll notify me with divergences, I could possibly go back to my old way of trading and catching those pips, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm kind of happy with what I'm doing right now, but it's possible. But anyways, that's how I used to catch 100 to 400 pips per day. I know, trust me, it sounds unbelievable. It sounds too good to be true, um, but it's 100% real. I documented everything on my Instagram and I saved those stories on highlights. So if you check profits one, two, and three, just it's gonna probably take you 30 minutes to go through every single story because I have so many stories on there. But uh, near the middle to the end of each profit one, you'll see that, you know, you'll see my progression of what I was doing and how I was catching those pips and how I, was, how I was helping my random Instagram followers catch the same trades as well. Yeah, that was an insane time of my life and I'm very happy that it happened. So that's it for this video. In my next video, I'm actually gonna be interviewing one of my students. He just learned how to trade divergence and actually in one of his first few trades, he caught 200 pips in a single day. What? That right there is basically reminding me of how I used to trade, right? Where I used to do a bunch of trades. So uh, we're gonna make a video and he's gonna show you his results and he's gonna pretty much break down how he learned divergence from what I taught him and how quickly it took him to really get a hang of it. Keep in mind, he's also a professional poker player. And if you are a professional poker player, the mindset fits professional trading because it's all about risk management. So I'm very happy to see his results and I'll go ahead and I'll do that video. Once that video is done, then I'll upload it so you can check out his story as well. All right, that's it for this video. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.